Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Odoo ERP, the all-in-one business management software that helps streamline operations, boost productivity, and save time. So whether you're a small business owner or managing a growing company, Odoo brings everything together under one roof. So what is Odoo? Essentially, Odoo is an enterprise resource planning or ERP system that integrates different business processes into a single platform. Need to track sales, automate invoices, manage your employees, Odoo does it all with user-friendly interface and customizable apps that grow with your business. So instead of juggling multiple software tools just to run your business in all its aspects, you could manage everything, sales, inventory, accounting, and even HR, all in one place. In this video, I'll walk you through the basics of using Odoo. So by the end, you will know exactly how to get started and make the most out of its powerful features. So let's dive into it. First of all, if you go to their website, that's odoo.com, you will land on the homepage here where you can see like snippets of the different services and apps offered by Odoo, such as accounting services, knowledge, rental, point of sale, website and manufacturing and so on. You can manage literally all your business aspects with Odoo and you can click here to view all the apps. Now to start using it, just click on start now. It's free on the home screen. And then you can choose the apps that you want. So for me, for example, I'll choose website and then CRM sales, for example, subscriptions. Okay. And here they add up the four apps that I selected. You can get a 15 days free trial. And after that, the paid plan is pretty affordable, especially that you are getting all the apps and services included. So click on continue. And then I need to fill these details, the name, email, company name, country, language, phone number, etc. So I'm going to complete this form and then click on start now to start creating my account. So once I have finished filling the form, as you notice here in the company name, once I entered my company name, it generates like a custom URL for the company. That's the company name .com. You can edit it if you want to. And now click on start now. And then they welcome you to Odoo while they prepare your main interface. And then you're redirected to this page where you need to answer like four questions in order to better customize your website and like your dashboard. Or you can skip here and start building from scratch. However, I'll just continue with it. So let's do it. I am a business website for my, let's say I have a supplement brand for my supplement. Okay, vitamin and supplement store. The main goal for me is to sell more. And then you need to select like a color palette. That'll be the main color palette for your website that Odoo will generate for you. Okay, and of course you can change any of this later. Okay, so let me choose this. And add pages or features, let's say about us. And then uh, live chat and shop, for example. Okay, build my website. And then I need to choose a favorite theme. So for a vitamin and a supplement company, um, I like the one in the middle. Okay, click on it. And then it's gonna do its magic, applying the color palettes, the design, and every aspect and feature that I choose. And it'll create a ready to use website for me. And here is my website. Now, if I go ahead and check the URL, so it's freestuff1.odoo.com, and the website is ready to go. As you can see, it looks pretty good here. However, I need to add, of course, my own images, my own like phone number, my own details, and so on. And to do so, I need to edit the website. So click on edit at the top right here. And now I'm in the editor. Now here I can add different blocks. I can customize the blocks here. I can edit the theme. So the main color palette that I chose here is like this dark blue, this gray, and the white. And then here I can choose between dark and light. Now I already chose the main colors from the color palette, which is like blue, gray, and white. I can change them if I want to. Let's say I want to opt for a more like reddish uh, look right here. It's taking a moment and then it'll change the color accent for like the buttons and everything to make it red. Okay, I like this more, for example, let's see. And here I can switch the theme, okay. Add a language, the page layout, background photo, edit the paragraph font size, font family, and all the settings related to the look and feel of my theme. And now let's go ahead to blocks. So 
Let's, for example, add a uh, images carousel. So to add a block, just simply drag and drop it. And you can see here in these like green separators, you can insert your like block here. So for the sake of this video, let's choose this one and it'll be added right here. Of course, it's duplicated because I already have one with the same images, but you get the idea. Now, let's say I want to add this product like carousel. Okay, add it here and then select the products, the dummy products that are offered. And as you can see here, you have your products carousel. Now, as you saw here, once I hovered over the block here, it automatically got to the customize tab and it highlighted the block for editing. Now I can move the block here up and down to change the order of the blocks and I can delete the block. I can go ahead here and edit the block here. So it's products now, for example, I can change it to columns. I can change to intro content people. Let's change it into this one. I like this one and it instantly changes it. Now for each block, you have the settings here. So for this, I can edit the text, for example, text style, the header. And now this is the inline text. I can edit the size. And if I double click on any of the images, I can edit it or replace it. So for example, these are images. I can upload an image from my computer. I'll just upload a random image for you pretty quickly. Okay. It's now uploading as you can see. And once it finishes uploading, it's now added. So as you can see, it's now changed. I can go ahead and double click to highlight the text. Let's say test CEO, for example, and the subtitle as well. I can go ahead, highlight it. Let's say chief of awesomeness. So you get the idea. You can click on any item, resize it in the grid view here, move it around, delete it and do whatever you want with it and even change the order. Now for each block type, the settings will differ. Of course, for text, it will be different than images, videos. And once you go ahead and see that you edited all the aspects for your website. Now I want to show you the settings regarding the button. If I click on the button here, you'll see here the URL that it will redirect to. It will redirect to the contact us page. And I can link here to a page, to a product uh, uploaded document, to a product page, add anything. And here, if I click to highlight the or choose the text in the button, I can make it, for example, say, click me. Okay. All looks good. I can remove the link. As I told you, I can edit the link here. So for example, let me redirect it to google.com. Okay. And I can change the background of the button and I can edit the button like animation, the button size, the button color and everything. So all looks pretty good to me. Now here, click on save to save all the changes. And now you get a preview of your website. If I go ahead here and see, I can see that all the changes are made and my Odoo website is ready to go.